All right, everybody, welcome back to the CGDQ 10th anniversary broadcast, where we're now getting ready to do the second of Feasel's games, which is River City Ransom. But, uh, real quick, I just had a couple of announcements I wanted to cover right now. So uh, um, for those who aren't aware, we have Frame Fatales. Uh, it's just kind of like a biannual uh, speedrunning event at this point on our channel, which is a all women's uh, event, all women speedrunning marathon, and uh, that is going to be February 23rd to 29th. So that is uh, still taking game and volunteer submissions. Uh, those are going to be open until January 14th. Um, you can go to gamesdonequick.com slash framefatale for more information on how to sign up. So that is F-R-A-M-E-F-A-T-A-L-E-S. Uh, -E -E um, and also, uh, you know, I don't know if anybody here has heard of uh, some marathon called Awesome Games Done Quick, but uh, that happens to be happening, you know, soon, January 5th through January 12th. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm sure everybody's really excited for that. So definitely uh, check it out. Uh, we're going to have, you know, the usual slate of things, a whole 24 hour, uh, seven days a week sort of deal, uh, raising money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. So it's going to be in Orlando for the first time. So it's going to be really fun. So GameStuckQuick.com for more information on that. And uh, yeah, so uh, I believe we are um, ready to go, I think so, Fiesel? I am, yeah. Sweet. So hi, Fiesel again. I'm joined here by Yelsrick, who's going to help me with commentary on this, the uh, current world record holder. Hey, Yelsrick. Hey, Fiesel. How's it going? Good, good, good. Well, so here we have River City Ransom. So uh, just to start out, we got two characters you can choose between. I'm going to pick ryan because uh the text during the, one of the cutscenes is a bit quicker set fast text speed we are going to stay on novice level not advanced because that is a little bit insane to do for a speed run uh, although technically possible obviously so river city ransom a game that um a lot of people know just because it has this great like two-player co-op mode there weren't really a lot of good two-player simultaneous co-op games for the nes and so um you know this is a game that you'd play with your friends. And uh, I don't know, there's a lot of great things about it. I guess we're not getting that chain, am I, Yells? But, <laughs> but we talked about maybe getting the chain, but we'll do, we'll do crate strats. Chains are overrated, at yeah, least for right now. We'll get, we'll get one later, then it'll be very much rated. So yeah, this cutscene right here, we're picking uh, Ryan just because this cutscene goes much better for Ryan here, much faster. Um, but anyway, very well-known game. It's got a bunch of cool, like, RPG elements to it. You have stats you can upgrade. Uh, there's all these towns where you can buy equipment and items and things like that in. <clears throat> so, and overall, it's just a really fun game. This is, uh, in my opinion, probably one of the best games for the NES. I mean, it really, it really just has so much replay value. Okay, good. They're cooperating. We get a crate there, fortunately. Hey, homeboys. hey -o. Excellent. Yeah, this is the pattern that he's looking for right now for the warehouse. Uh, you can get a lot of different gang spawns in the warehouse that are much less favorable. He's got the crate, which has really good range, where he can kill two gang members through the wall. And then he can navigate his way up and over the center wall while they're dying, and their coins are uh, despawning. It's a very good pattern, yeah. All right, see if I can do this. First boss time. Ooh. That was a beautiful kill. Well uh, done. I didn't. Uh, yeah, you might. You do generally want to pre-damage yourself, and die right away. But that's exactly how you want. Yeah, Honestly, was... surprised it happened. Yeah. <laughs> that was an excellent uh, death warp. So the death warp is a new addition to the route within the last few years. So uh, this, this is a a newish route for Faisal to run, where um, he opts to not get stone hands early and instead uh, has to deal with using a weapon instead of uh, instead of using the overpowered punch attack. Uh, but there he goes. Uh, you have a fixed chain to grab from Blade. Uh, so you take it from him, and you're on your way, and here comes the hardest part of the entire run. <laughs> yeah, this is ridiculous. Yells is going to do the rest of the commentary. For... I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> So yeah, so now he has to navigate through 10 screens without dying, so that he, ideally, without even getting hit, so that he holds onto the chain. Because without stone hands, you're going to need a good strong weapon with good reach to take out the next th uh, two bosses before you have a chance to finally get that stone hands upgrade. 
This is faster than the old route that got stone hands first because that involved a little bit of farming. You save roughly about 45 seconds by not farming and just relying on the cash you pick up along the way. So far, this is going pretty well. Through the underpass safely. Still has this chain, and now we've got a room where you have to kill some folks. We got the mob, which is okay. They're pretty aggressive. They're gonna come right up to these weapons here. And hopefully they're gonna let him back in to pick up the weapon. Ooh, that got hairy. Yeah, got a little dicey there, but we're okay. So now uh, this is Turk. Turk should just be about five rounds of chain strikes to take him out. And you normally wanna kill him in front of the door there, but it's just a little bit more risky, so I don't do that. Indeed, yeah. So he's got, uh, this is pretty good, because homeboys are pretty tame. Uh, this is a pretty good pattern for Mojo's room here, as long as we don't get into a block fest. <laughs> so of course, that's okay. We have worked him out of the corner, and uh, everything's going to be okay from here on out, I would think, for the trash. And now it's on to Mojo. So this is the last uh, barrier between uh, Fiesel and his weapon upgrade, or his punch upgrade, rather. So with that one room of that mob enough? gang members. That is, yeah, that's you're not good. Enough. Oh, I am? No, you're good. You're good. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. Good. that's true. That's right. It's over, too. Never mind. Uh, we should have thrown the chain away there, but it's all right. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah, you'll just, uh, you now at this point, you have the option where you can hold on to the chain until you get hit next. <laughs> yep, <I can't. laughs> we'll just throw it at a random point. There's a strat optimization if you were going to get hit anyway. So... <laughs> But yeah, so he got exactly as much money as he needed uh, to get stone hands along the way, which is just a big time save over over the old routes. And we're on to Thor. This is the end of this factory. Good throw. And I could do the high road here, but oh no, stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happens that's... in C. <laughs> yeah, that's RCR for you. <laughs> yeah. Once, yeah. The thing is, once you once you get hit, uh, it's kind of up to the computer whether you're going to survive or not. Indeed. So the good thing he is going for him here is that he's uh, he already has stone hands. Right. So even though he died, all he did was lose a little bit of time having to run back to the factory again. If he had died prior to getting stone hands, it would have been much much worse because every time you die, you lose half of your money. So he would have lost about uh, thirteen bucks. <laughs> And there would have been this long farming sequence, <laughs> which would have been less fun than this is going to be. Because yeah, here you can see the power of stone hands for sure. Yeah, exactly. Trying to do this without stone hands would be crazy. The task does it though, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The task is crazy. <laughs> yeah, the task, the task is nothing like what a human can actually do. It's real. It's you know, it's all kinds of shenanigans. Really worth it. One of my favorite tasks. But... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it does all sorts of wacky stuff with trash cans and what have you. So Fiesel just killed Thor twice. The, that's a safety strat because he's going to use the sauna up ahead to build up some willpower so that he can survive one death blow. Uh, he get into a, gets into a dicey situation in the high school, he'll be able to work his way out of it because uh, even if his stamina reaches zero, he'll spend his willpower to be able to get back up and get back in the game. It's a small, small time trade-off here for hopefully saving um, what could obviously just be a lost attempt at the high school, so. These guys really like the tire, so they are going to head over to it right away. They get a little dicey once they get the tire, but that's okay. Fiesel took care of them, no problem. Here is Ivan, who tells you that you need to be able to survive his headbutt. However, if he lets him loose, he's just going to run and pick up a weapon anyway. Because that makes sense. <laughs> Very good kill. And into the high school. So now this is where it becomes very clear that you are, in fact, a glass cannon. Because you can take out these guys with a clean running stone hands punch. Uh, but if they get their hands on you, you're in really bad shape. Uh, luckily, uh, the gymnasium went pretty cleanly. Keeping Otis unlocked. And you'll see, I mean, the fight, the strats here for every one of these single bosses is just 
all about um, all about the stun lock over and over repetition just as they're about to stand up hit them in the face again not come back down Sammy's up at the top floor he's got to deal with a few cowboys here and then the uh, the hardest fight in the game starts <laughs> and everybody will recognize some lovely music in just a second shout outs to double dragon <laughs> Here are the Dragon Twins. Diesel's gonna try to group them together as best he can. Uh, they got loose a little bit, but that's okay. Try to take them out one at a time if possible, although one of them's about to come running back in with a weapon. Excellent, okay, this is good. There we go, cleaned up spaghetti, oh my goodness. Excellent, very good recovery. <laughs> That's Ideally, you want to continue to chain them down uh, with, with just using the same boss strats, but the the window to hit them both is very, very slight. Whoop! No! So Simon is extraordinarily strong, however, because he's only one person and he's not the Dragon Twins. Um, he just falls into the same bucket as those other boss fights. However, you definitely don't want to let him get loose. <laughs> uh, Fiesel let him run around a little bit, but we're A-OK. -okay. And time will be on Fade to Black. He's got to do the fence there dance. Wonderful. Ooh, that's, what, that's the reason why you get stone hands instead of dragon feet. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can't do you can't do the fence dance with, with dragon feet. <laughs> oh, GG, Fiesel. I was a little bit believe. late on yeah. my split timing, so add like five seconds to your 926 or like 931-ish. Oh, it's fine. Sub 10 is fine. Um, you know, the my my PB in this is with the old route was eight minute. Um, you know, everything has to go really well for that to happen, and of course, I you know wouldn't have gotten the marathon safeties that I got. So getting the willpower up. Um, the new route though should be able to get a sub seven. Um, Yeltsin times uh, six thirty eight, I think. Yeah. And, um, but I think anyone who perfects the new route should be able to get at least a low seven. Yeah. Definitely. RNG really kicks in. Yeah, it's all about just having the patience to deal with the RNG of the gang spawns. Yeah, that's really it. And then just, you know, send their cases for the, the enemies just don't... That's how it goes. Yeah. GG, Fiesel. Nice run. Yeah. Thank you. This is... Whew, this is okay. definitely on the better end of the possible ways this run could have gone, so... And you Absolutely. beat both of your runs pretty handedly based on your CGDQ estimates. That's always good. Nice. At the time of my CGDQ run, it was a world record. It was the first world record in a GDQ was uh, River City Ransom in CGDQ. And that was because I didn't bother timing myself during any of my practice sessions. So I got better as I was practicing for CGDQ and never actually updated my PB during any of that. So it ended up being world record when I did the CGDQ run. Fantastic. The game has come so far since then, it's amazing. Well, I always like to point to your eight flat on the leaderboard as a barometer for people. And I was like, well, that, that's one of the first big steps that you want to take as you work on speedrunning this game is get sub -feasel. That's a really there big barrier. So, <laughs> All right. Well, with that, it is time to wrap up uh, for now. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Feasel, for running. And Yels, thank you for the comment. Thank you. And, Thanks so uh, much. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we're going to take a break while we get set up for our Kung Fu race coming up. And that is going to do it for me on the host mic for now. So thank you very much. I'm Darkman78 once again. Uh, Zoe is going to be coming on, uh, filling in the slot. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in uh, a few minutes.